Hello, hello everybody and welcome to Capsule Monsters Coliseum. We are now at the final area, the King's Coliseum, where we are going to challenge Maximilian Pegasus. He has made it from the air, or what area was he in? Area 3? He has made it from Area 3 and qualified for the King's Tournament. And now we are going to take him on in the Shrine of Chaos. So, all the people we have been fighting have been qualifying in their own right to join us in the King's Coliseum. So even though we've technically defeated everybody, they are now going to be coming at us with their full force, their full teams at full power. And having Pegasus be first is a really good test of our power because we are weak to light monsters. All of our best monsters are weak to light monsters. So this is going to be tough. Plus he's got kind of a chessboard thing going on. So Pegasus, what are you all about? What's your power level? We meet again, Yuki Bo. What's up, Pegasus? Pegasus, I didn't think I'd be facing you. Again. Yeah, I didn't think you'd qualify. <laughs> Don't think our fight will end the same way this time. I'm guessing not. You seem pretty tough I this time. Get my revenge, Yugi Boy. I don't think so. I'll be victorious again. It's time to duel, Pegasus. It's time to duel. Pegasus was actually the first opponent we almost lost to. Like the duel was super close. So, I'm a little bit worried. I am a little bit worried. This could be bad. If he if he's even if he's even 1.5 times stronger than last time, then he'll beat me. So, let's see what he, what monsters he uses. He says light monsters, but I don't know. Hopefully he actually has some Toon Monsters this time, because he never used Toon last time. Okay, Light Monster, Light Monster, Light Monster, Fire, Earth, 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 Wind, whoa, 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 holy crap, this is an army. He brought an entire army today. Alright, so I see four, five Light Monsters. Oh yeah, we can bring up to nine monsters, that's why. Um, let's see, Level one Karibo. I don't know who to bring. Oh, we have level 7 Karibo. I guess we can bring that. Yeah, I want to bring level 7 Karibo. Magician of Black Chaos. Uh, I would love to bring Gaia, but he costs so much. Um, Great Moth. and th I would lo I'd love to bring Thousand Dragon, but he probably costs a lot too. Look at that. Look at that. It costs so much just to bring our favorite monsters. Alright, well, I guess we'll go over to our weaker monsters now. Uh, Shovel Crusher, you'll be helpful here. And with our last few points, we can we can bring some pieces of Exodia. Let's see if I bring. Let's bring the legs today. Sometimes you gotta bring your legs. Okay, so we're gonna be bringing Magician of Black Chaos as our deck leader. Um, honestly, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. If I do, then it's weak to most of his monsters. Maybe I should bring Gaia. Oh, I can't. Even with that, I couldn't bring Gaia. He does not enough points. I'll steal or Grotto. I couldn't bring him either. Maybe I should make someone else the deck master this time. So this guy, he's a light monster, so I don't want to bring dark monsters, which most of my monsters are dark. Um, lightning would be the best, but that's steel or Grotto, and that's... Wait, could I bring it if I take away one of the hands and then put in Karibo instead? I could. All right, yeah, we'll do that. Steel Lord Grotto number two. Uh, I might not make him my boss monster. I might make it like, uh, I'll choose. I'll choose who it is, but that's good who we're bringing just to give him a chance. So we aren't bringing Magician of Black Chaos for once. That's going to be interesting. All right, let me manually place them. Uh, Karibo, why don't you stick to the side? Yeah, you're not going to be up front exactly. Uh, left leg, you're going to be up front for sure. Uh, Big Karibo, you get to be in the middle. Uh, Shovel Crusher, you're important, so I'm going to put you in the side. I wonder what these circles mean. Thousand Dragon, you're important, so you get a side. Uh, Great Moth, you're important, so you get... Uh, let's see. Yeah, you'll get a side. And then Steel Orgron number two, who might be our leader, might not, depending on how I feel. I'll, I'll pick one of these guys to be the leader. They're probably already on the side, I just haven't... I don't know. Future me can decide who it is. Probably like Thousand Dragon. I like Thousand Dragon. Could be Great Moth. I like Great Moth. So what are you, Pegasus? Let's see how you do against this. I didn't bring any of my normal monsters, or normal boss monster. I didn't bring Dark Magician Girl. I didn't bring Summon Skull. I didn't bring Feral Imp. I only brought 
um, run-of-the-mill boss monsters. Like Great Moth and Thousand Dragon. Alright, let's go. And then this one costs 50. This one costs 127. And then how much does this one cost? 30. Okay, we'll bring out we'll bring out Steel Aura Grotto. There we go. He'll help out a lot this battle. I bought him last time at the shop. I remember showing you guys that. Let's see if he's actually worth the price. Let's see how good you really are, Yugi boy. But he didn't bring anything. Like, I guess I could have brought a Dark Monster to deal with his Earth Monsters, but that's kind of what Karibo's going to be doing. Oh yeah, we should see what his deck boss is. Even though you guys can see it on the side of the screen, I didn't actually, I didn't go over there to check. So let's see, he's got... Oh, he's got that thing again, Jiren Gudon. That's part of his starter deck. If you bought it when you were a kid like I did, you'll get that card. This card right here, you'll get it. Uh, it's called Jiren Gudon, right? Oh, Jigen Bakudon, sorry. Uh, Magician of Faith, that's interesting. Uh, he has Rojdal again, of course. Might be his boss. Earth, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is a Carididal? I don't even know what that is. I might make that his boss. Lucky Trinket, Ro Rock or Grotto. Oh, he has Paradragon! Oh, crap. So that's the closest to a Toon Monster we're going to see. Yeah, so I'm going to just have to put it out there. Even though Rujdal is probably stronger, I'm, I'm going to say this thing. This thing looks like it could be his boss. So, Carrot Idol, you're pretty tough looking. I'm going to send out my... I'm going to send out my my Moth. Get out there first. Jiren Gudon, yeah, get out there. Uh, Karibo, you're going to be backing them up, so just, yeah, stay behind them. And then let's start summoning. Let's get our foot. We only brought one foot today, so let's bring one of the feet out. And then let's bring out Thousand Dragon. And then with my last my last turn, I'm going to summon my Karibo. My, oh, my weaker Karibo. Level 1. We have a level 7 and a level 1 on the field. Now we can see the difference. 205 HP versus 305. Wow, he has 100 more health when he hits level 7. Oh, okay, so his Paradragon is actually something to be feared. I think my best bet is to get my Thousand Dragon over there. And then for the Earth Monsters... Like, Thousand Dragon, what is he weak to? He's weak to... To... Ah, oh, what is... What is Wind weak to? I completely forget these things. Alright, so he's gonna bring him out. Ooh, he has that weird attack stat. So does the Magician of Faith. So he might play this map... He might play this game a little bit more tactically. Still or Grotto, let's get you onto the field. Then foot, let's get you out. Oh well, let's wait till someone else moves, then we'll get you out on the field. Shovel Crusher, get ready. That magician of faith is kind of what I want you to go after. One, two. Wait, what does this thing move? Okay, so he can't move next turn. He can only move here, which means he can't attack here. So I can move you here for now, and you'll be fine. Uh, Great Moth, I'm gonna move you to the side. Don't be alarmed. Uh, Karibo, well, let's hold up. Let me bring out the foot. The foot. Go for it. Fly, my foot. Fly. Uh, Karibo level 7. Get out there. Very good. And then Thousand Dragon. We definitely need you out here. You're the big boy. You're our big boy. And then one, level 1 Karibo, let's get you on the field. Okay, everybody's on the field now. Everyone's ready to fight. Only thing I don't have to move is my deck boss, so we'll see how that goes. But K freaking Pegasus brought 9 monsters to this fight. We only brought 7. And some of these nine are actually pretty strong. Like, he shouldn't be able to bring nine when they're this strong. Others are exactly, or really weak, so it's not that crazy, but... Eh, I don't know, I'm still worried. Yeah, see, he couldn't attack me. But if that's his boss, the only other thing I, I'd recognize as his boss is his Paradragon. That thing's pretty tough. The thing is probably the highest stat thing on the field. Or stat, yeah, highest statted monster on the field. So right now, what I can do... Is I could sacrifice my, my Shovel Crusher in order to attack his idol. But I don't think my Shovel Crusher would do that much damage. So I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to move my Great Moth forward. Because no matter what, that M Magician of Faith can't hit me. Then I'm going to move Thousand Dragon forward. Uh, could this thing hit me? One, two, one. Nope. Could this thing hit me? One, two, one, two. No, he couldn't hit me. So, and this thing could hit me. One, two, one, two. Nope, it couldn't hit me. So everything on my side is pretty safe right now from his monster. So Thousand Dragon, get as far forward as you can. Shovel Crusher, you're kind of... You're kind of going to die. I have a feeling I, I'm going to let you die. Because, like, if I move you here, then both the Magician of Faith and that guy can attack you. 
it'll only do that much even though it's super effective holy crap all right let's attack it let's just let's try to get some damage on the idol i know it's gonna i know i just killed my guy off but i'm not too even though he's super effective he doesn't do that much damage because of his stats so i'm gonna leave him back steel or grotto you're only level one so i don't know how good you're gonna do today Karibo, you're only level one, so I don't know how good you're going to do today either, so let's get you up. Alright, that's everybody that I could do. The only thing I sacrificed this turn was Shovel Crusher, and that's to see if he'll move into position where I can hit him. Pegasus has plenty of points to use attacks with, so we'll see. Shovel Crusher, go ahead and take the hit. Wow, that thing that thing hits hard. I didn't think Jiren Good B Bakudon would be that strong. And that's without the Carrot Idol. So I wonder what the Carrot Idol's plan is. Yeah, it's going to just attack me for the kill. Yeah, I kind of want to see the animation. Let's see it. Hopefully, I remember to turn it off, but if this is his boss monster, I want to see what it can do. It could just be a super weak monster that I just don't recognize. But, like, what is this thing? Hopefully, it doesn't get a level up for doing this, because, honestly, Shovel Crusher really isn't that strong. So, we'll see. 33 damage. We can take that. We can take that to hell. We're gone. Yugi boy, if you don't try harder, this duel will be over before you know Well, it. screw you, Pegasus. You got the eye that lets you read movements. I, I think that's a little bit cheating in these kind of games. Reading minds is really cheating. All right, and now he's retreating. I was expecting more of aggressive of, a, of an aggressive play, but instead he decided to go with ch uh, with retreating. Which means that this is really going to be a tough duel. Maybe I should have bought, brought some boss monsters with me today. Okay, I can't attack from that side, but I could attack from this side. I'm going to stand here for now. Um, Steel or Grotto, we got to get you to move. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I just noticed you have negative 31 attack here. Maybe that's why you have problems. Uh, wait, it's all enemies in one direction. Ooh, nice. 126 damage is good, but it's, it's they're not all lined up perfectly for me right now, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, you, on the other hand, you also have a special attack, don't you? Alright, attack. Let's see, if I attack this one, who's in danger? If I, Do I put you in danger? She can't attack you. She can attack you. And he can attack you. So we'll see. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. If I move you here, you'll get an attack off, but he'll resist it, sadly. So let's see. He res Even with resistance, it does more than the Shovel Crusher. Wow. Wow, that mu that guy was weak then. All right, so let's uh, let's work on Jiren Bakudon. Let's, let's do a double work on him. Oh, wow. Whoa, by yourself? Holy crap, Kariba. I'm going to give you the battle animation. Obviously, I forgot. I'm going to give this to you because you can destroy this thing by yourself. That's how strong leveled up monsters are like i should have just brought leveled up monsters i didn't need to bring all this hell i should have brought magician of black chaos i should have brought them all despite the weakness all right so let's see 190 nice although great moth is pretty strong too so i guess it's gonna be okay or it should be okay so let's move you right about here let's attack this thingy only 65 damage this Carrot Idol is a tank. This Carrot Idol is a real tank. Holy crap. The Karibo only did so much damage because it was so high level, but still. Now, I could attack, but I'm going to attack this one instead. Because I need this thing dead. If it's this strong, this much of a threat, it needs to die. So let's get it. Plus, I'm not really worried about Torike compared to Carrot Idol. Alright, so we destroyed the Idol, which could have been his boss, so I'm glad it's dead. Still got to wor worry about Rouge Doll and freaking um, Paradragon, but I'm not that worried. Well, let's see. This is a plant monster. What is this? Paradragon, what are you weak to? You're weak to walk. Oh, you're weak to plants. So I need you to fight my Great Moth. Who here? Everyone else is coming for my Great Moth right now. So I need to keep Great Moth alive somehow. Which means I got to be a little bit more careful than I'm being. Because I'm kind of going offensive. But it was to destroy the Carrot Idol, which was super tanky, so I'm glad it's dead. Alright, so yeah, you're going for my Karibo. You're a light monster, this is gonna hurt. My Karibo still doesn't care. Even with the super effective damage, he just doesn't care. He's level 7 and he's here to kill. Alright, ooh, that guy's gonna hit him. Crap, that's gonna hurt. 104, Karibo's still trying its best. It's crying out loud, but it's trying its best. 
It's telling me that I made mistakes, but it's proud of me anyway. Oh, a para dragon's going after my petite moth, or my great moth, which is good. I actually want that because I want to fight para dragon, which I can do next turn if I can kill the magician of faith. And his rose doll is backed off. Okay, so his boss from last time is backed off. He's body blocking my foot, and now he's standing in front of my foot. Okay, weird. This man makes weird strategies. Here I go. Here I go again. Okay, so I can't get him. My foot has actually been outplayed by these two monsters, which is fine. I'll focus on that later. Right now, I need to focus on getting to this Parrot Dragon, which I can't do at the moment due to this thing. And I can't kill it because of the no it's not super effective. So, or it's n it's actually not very effective. It's weak when it attacks like that. So, Kribo, get in a position where you could fight it. Great Moth, let's move you. Um... I want to destroy the the maw. Don't get me wrong. I want to destroy this thing. It has an advantage against lightning. Maybe I'll use my special attack. I just don't know how much this is going to cost me. That's why. That's what sucks about this. All right, let's do it. Please don't cost too much. Nox, noxious nostril gust. Go. Everything in front of me. Let's see it. 105 damage. Beautiful. 71 damage. You know what? That's pretty good. Not bad cost like everything but it was it, it was honestly a good move it did it, it hit two opponents I'm, I'm happy um i kind of want magician of faith to die but i feel like i'm gonna have to call uh to to sacrifice karibo for that so i might want to not kill magician of faith just yet so if i move there one two he'll attack me so i don't want to move there which means i have to let the larvas live which sucks but it's it's just what i have to do if I move here, I hit nothing. If I move here, okay. So here is safe. Let's attack. It only does 81. Gosh darn it. Oh, what if I attack this guy instead? 107. Mm. Even though it's technically better, I think she's more of a threat. So let's try to kill her. Get her down by 81. Alright, and then special. The perfect block. Neutralized for one time only. Only affects the monster with this ability. Alright. Yes. I never used perfect block before, so we're going to test it out right now. Probably not a good thing to do is test it out mid-battle, but we're going to test it out mid-battle. Rather than in an easier battle, we're doing this in the King's Coliseum against Maximilian Pegasus, the man who invented these dual monsters. Oh, what the hell was that? Did he just power up light? Is that something I could have been doing? Crap, I should have done that. Wait, he can't even destroy my foot even with the power up? Holy crap. I'm feeling good then. I'm, I'm feeling good. Alright, so he just powered up all his light monsters, so he's going for kills. Uh, he's not on a place that would power him up, so this is still going to hurt like hell. Alright, Great Moth's dead. Great Moth is dead. He did what he could, but he's dead. Alright, with the power up... Oh, he she didn't attack me because she knows about the perfect block. Hmm. So in a way, Karibo saved, but not even going to waste my block. All right, yeah, goodbye, Great Moth. I'm sorry, buddy. You're still hanging on, but Paradragon's going to get you, so I'm sorry. It took three monsters to kill you. I want you to remember that. Wait. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, wait, why were you going that far? No, it, it makes sense. Damn it, Great Moth is one of our bosses. Probably the, it could be our boss monster, if not this Karibo. Without him, we lost a big... Oh, and it leveled up on top of that. That sucks. We lost a big asset right now. And our foot is still in danger. So let's see. If I can increase anything, I can increase water. Uh, what is that? Lightning? Is that darkness? I think this is darkness. We're going to increase the power of darkness right now. All right, I didn't know I could do this, so now that I, can, now that I know, I'm going to freaking do it. All right, darkness. Are you... Oh, I am on a dark space, too. So let's... Uh, let's see. With the power of darkness, it does 122. Oh, my God. That's so good. That is so good. Although my other, my weak level one Kribo is on a power of light space, so it's not going to get the boost. How cute. Your monsters are actually trying to fight. Well, screw you. I don't care. My monsters are good. They're cute. I'm sorry that you don't have cute monsters like, well, you do. You have toon monsters, but you're not using them for some reason. All right, let's destroy the Magician of Faith. She's giving us a lot of problems. Then the next thing we're going to need to destroy is this goddamn Parrot Dragon. Which, if I attack it, how much can I do to it? 132, we destroy it! Yes! 
Paradragon has fallen to us. And then now we have to destroy his normal... Oh, wait, he still has Rouge Doll. Crap. I was getting way too confident. It's just like with Kaiba where it's like, oh, I destroyed Blue Eyes. Game over. No, it's not. There's always more monsters to think about. All right, let's put you here. Just stand there. And then the foot. You are in a dark space now, so why not just fight? I know you're going to die, but just fight. Do your best, buddy. Boom. Kick him in the face. All right, so I sacrificed my foot, but I think it's worth it. It's worth it just for the damage. So you think you're the only strong one there, Pegasus? I can activate pieces too. Now you're going to make your Larvis and your Tori K stronger. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, crap. I forgot. And your Rock, rock or Grotto guy. So I, I sacrificed my foot. I'm sorry, foot. I didn't want you to die. But I need you to do the damage while you could. So let's see. He's going there. Karibo. Wait, perfect block is still activated. Oh, but he's going to attack me twice. Gotcha. So even with the perfect block, I lost it. Still, that's an OP ability. I like perfect block. And Lar... Wait, he backed off. He didn't attack me. He backed off. Oh, but by backing off, now I can't attack him. I get you. I get you, video game. So that perfect block ability really saved my saved my Karibo there. Still, I'm in, I'm in the danger zone. Because Kariba, not, both my monsters can't get to an attacking position. The Roge Doll is going to be fine. Normally, I'd be like, hey, let's go and attack, but no. His strategy is the, uh, the right one. We should back off. Larvis can't hurt us. This thing can hurt us. That thing can hurt us. All right, let's run away. So this thing can only hurt us if I move. So he can move here and attack me here. I don't think he can attack me here, so I'm going to move here. And then this monster, no matter where I move it, I feel like he's in danger. So I'm going to I'm gonna chill with this guy. And then Thousand Dragon, I need you alive. You're our best monster at the moment. If you die, we lose. That's just the, that's just the truth of it. All right, what about you? What can you do? You're our new monster, so you don't really have any experience yet. But I want to see what you're capable of. Negative 71, huh? Negative 31. Uh, let's move you into a position like this. And then Thousand Dragon, this thing can attack you if you move one or two. So, plus it has only 100 health left. But if I move you here, you're in danger, so I'm not going to move you there. Might be ballsy, but we're just going to keep you as is. Don't move. All right. All right. Come on, Kaiba. You still have the win. I, I mean, sorry, Pegasus. I know you still have the win in your hand. I have to somehow get you to attack me. Oh, you got off the Earth Boost. Does that mean Earth turns into nothing? Okay, so no more Earth Boost. What is he trying to increase then? Ah, Karibo's still dead. Yep, I tried to save you, level 7 Karibo, but he found a way around it. Well, either way, I can power up and kill him. Are you going to give up? No, of course not, buddy. I got you. I'll figure out your weakness, Pegasus. It's probably going to be your offensive nature. Not your offensive nature, but your offensive nature. So focusing on what Pegasus is doing, he's running away, but he's leaving his two Earth monsters open. So he wants me to attack them. Which means he wants me to sacrifice my monsters in order to attack them. So Thousand Dragon, how far could you go? You can go right here. And you can attack it. How much would that do? 177. Okay, go for that. That's an attack I like. 82 health left. Could you do it, Karibo? How cute! Your monsters are actually trying to. Fight. Oh, how cute! You're actually trying to be funny. Screw you. All right, let's see. I could attack Larvis, but by doing so, Turrike couldn't hit me. Neither could he. I could attack Larvis, but by doing so, I think Rouge Doll will hit me. So I'm going to take that risk. Let's see it. 85 damage. It's not that much, but it's something. Just bring it down to a point where my all my monsters could kill it. And then Karibo, I need you to body block Thousand Dragon since it's our best monster. And if possible, kill this thing. Oh, thank God. Okay, so Karibo could get the kill. Even a level 1 Karibo is still a big old threat. So we, uh, we always had a monster disadvantage. He always had nine monsters versus our two. Oh, wow. Level two Karibo. Nice. Versus our seven. So we were always two monsters down. But now it's starting to really pay. We're starting to really pay for it. 
Because now we're down to three monsters and he has, what, four? But his four monsters are actually pretty tanky. Three full health and one... One with damage. So Karibo's dead. I just I just lost Karibo. He's powering up light monsters again. That was the smart thing to do. Oh, that's gonna suck for me, but I have to I have to take the hit now. Alright. And there goes Karibo. Yep. There goes Karibo. Good thing is he left his Rose Doll in a, a position where I can hit it back. Problem is it's in a position where it's powered up by light. Oh, and the Larvis can hit me, damn. That's also... A, oh, it's not the biggest hit in the world, but that's also bad. With Larvis being able to hit me, I'm going to take a big chunk from that. Alright. So, I actually have a strategy, but I don't know if it's going to work, so it's kind of worrying me. This will power up lightning monsters, right? Alright. If that powers up lightning monsters, get ready to help out. So, we're going to use this. Oh, I have to go in light anyway. Whatever. Use this. How much can you do? A okay, good. Good. The super effective damage does 100. Now, I have to pray that they don't kill my Thousand Dragon next turn. Because that's basically what's going to happen. Because this thing attacks from left to right. So, it can attack me. Well, Steel or Grotto has 192 HP. This thing's super effective against it. If I were to go here and just attack it basically, how much could I do? 134. Barely lives, so I couldn't do it. Damn it. Okay, if I can't do it, it's not worth it. Let's hold back. Attack. Right here. Destroy. Yes. It's only worth it if I can kill it. I'm down to two monsters, and one of them is super effective against his boss, but the problem is, even though it's super effective, it's only level one, so it might not even be worth it. So now we got to focus on other things. Okay, he's turning it to Earth now, which makes sense. He still has his Torike to think about. Alright, so they're going there. Oh, you could hit my Thousand Dragon still. Damn. Oh, you can't do any damage to it, though, thankfully. Thankfully, you can't really do much damage to it. But your Torike can, so I got to be careful. Torike, this is super effective. It couldn't kill me even though it was super effective. Holy crap, that's lucky. That is super lucky. If this keeps up... Uh. Yeah, seriously. If this keeps up, we're gonna die. And that thing looks like it's going for my deck boss, so I gotta be careful. Alright, am I gonna get the lightning boost this time? I think I am. Okay. Torike, get ready to die. 127 damage. Beautiful. 123 health left. I think he's the real threat. Yeah, accidents happen. If I try to go for Rose Doll, I think he'll win, so I don't want to do that. Please tell me this is enough. Yes! Holy crap, we're still in this duel. We are still in this duel, because now that that thing's dead, the only monsters he has left are light monsters, and his light monsters cannot destroy my freaking, uh... My freaking, uh... Dragon. Problem is, he can now just go after my deck boss. So I'm gonna leave it on Lightning, because Lightning only powers up me and it weakens him. So, oh crap, I forgot to, I, I have to leave it there to leave it on lightning. Oh, whatever, I'll leave it on nothing. As long as I get away from his light monster. Because he's probably going to turn it to light now. He only has light monsters left, so that's the only thing he should do. Oh, he turned it to nothing. Interesting. You both, we both wanted a nothing field, huh? What's the, what's the occasion? Oh, okay, yep, he's just going for our deck leaders. Um, that makes sense. It's That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Alright, well, if we were just going for deck leaders, I think I would win because of uh, Thousand Dragons, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and be quick. So let's do that. Rouge Doll is right there. I don't think he'll hit me if I run to the corner really quickly, so I'm gonna start running. We're both going after our captain pieces, so I just have to hope that my guys can destroy his before his destroys mine. I still haven't increased my defenses, so it's it's going to be close. It's definitely going to be close. Wait, he didn't even move Rujdal. What the hell? Oh, is he retreating? Did he realize that he'll lose if we do it this way? He probably realized that. It's a shame he realized it too late. He might have been a challenge otherwise. Alright. Only the captain piece can change it, huh? Alright, before I end the turn... 
Let me just keep on running away so he can't reach me. Sorry, you're not killing my captain piece. I'm killing yours. I don't care how tanky it is. Thousand Dragon and Steel Ore Grotto with super effective damage is going to kill you. Still, you gave me a good duel, Pegasus. I'll give you that. You gave me a good duel. I feel confident that I won, though. Even though that was a close duel at the end with our, us having less monsters, it was still, it's still in our favor there. So, Steel Ore Grotto, do you want to wanna do your attack? Alright, how much can you do to this thing? How tanky is it? 350 HP, that's pretty good. That's actually some pretty good HP. 124, nice. And then you attack this one. 198, yeah, we won. Next turn, we win. He has no way of stopping us. Unless the map suddenly does something crazy. Oh, I will not let you do that again. You will not have the choice because I won. GG, buddy. GG. Had I tried to chase him, he might have won the duel, but luckily I just went for his captain piece. Impossible. I can't read your mind. Does that mean you're going to surrender? That's the game. He just chose death there. Even your doll can't protect you. Goodbye, Pegasus. Victory is in my reach. Thousand Dragon, why don't you end things off? Here we go. Destroy the symbol. This will finish, this you. Will finish you. We did it, everybody. Pegasus, for the second time, has fallen to us. He gave us a much harder battle this time. The first time we fought, he gave us a tough battle. This time, he had victory within his grasp. We almost lost that duel. And we lost all of our a lot of our best monsters. We lost Karibo level 7. We lost Karibo level 2. We lost uh, Great Moth. So, we did have some big sac sacrifices on our side. Sucks to see that. It seems victory has abandoned me. Yep, sorry, Pegasus. You're still a loser. Victory is a fickle creature. She may smile upon you again someday. But not today. <laughs> Maybe so. And when that day comes, beware, Yugi Boy. I will, Pegasus, because you are a real right. threat. Goodbye, Pegasus. And 30 experience gives us a level up for Thousand Dragon. Level 5 Thousand Dragon. I'm glad I'm leveling him up because he, it took so long just to get a Thousand Dragon in the first place. So it makes me happy to see him all big and strong and grown up. Alright, 550 total MP, 33 experience for the two guys that survived, and the symbol levels up. Maybe I should start focusing on giving my symbol some health since it's always in danger now. There we go. Now it has 351 health. How about that? That's not too bad. Um, this carrot idol looks so interesting. I kind of want it. What else can I get? Oh, I want Paradragon. I want the carrot idol. And I want Magician of Faith. Okay. I got the three monsters I wanted, and I hope you guys got the battle you wanted. Next time, we will be moving on to a brand new powerful opponent within the King's Coliseum. I hope you guys uh, check it out, and I'm happy that you all stayed with me this long. See you all then.